Hi, I'm Kate Swanson with Art Impressions, bringing you a tip of the day brought to you by Scrapbook Expo. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a floating card. These are really fun. All you need is um, a couple pieces of paper, a string, and an image. Um, today I'm using the AI spinners, but you can use a snowflake, a heart, a star, any sort of punch, um, just something that you can do front and back. So what you'll need is a card base, and you'll need at least one panel of cardstock. You'll need to die cut through them. We actually use a three and a half inch circle, but um, any circle or opening that would work for your, um, for your image that would fit inside of it works great. The way I do this is I use um, about a five inch piece of string. And I actually, um, I love to use tape with these. Um, it, it makes it uh, really easy to use for holding your string in place. That's one of the big things is you want to make sure that your string is really um, tight and it holds really well for your image. So I just use some tape on these. And I actually, I used embroidery floss, but you can use um, twine, you can use um, regular floss, you can use fishing wire. There's lots of different options to do for this. So once you have your string on, you want to go ahead and put your base over the top. So it just covers up that string. And I, I'm using a Tombow Extreme Runner. I like to have a really strong adhesive to hold this down. Now from there, you're going to go ahead and take your image, whatever it may be. I actually I have a front and a back. I take my back image and I run my adhesive on it. And I actually put it behind. So I set my image down where I'd like it and put it behind the string where I would like it to line up. Then I just take my other image and I put it right over the top. And you can kind of adjust it, play with it as you'd like. And that way, you have a floating image for your card. It can even spin. Our AI spinners are actually made so you wind them up. And you can do this with your any image as well. And you close them. And so that when they open, they have a cute little spin. You can send it all the way through the mail. And once you open it, um, you'll see that cute image twirl. I'm Kate Swanson with Art Impressions, bringing you the tip of the day, brought to you by Scrapbook Expo.